Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. You know, each one of us, as we live our life and get up each morning, we're really living kind of a soap opera, our own. You know, things lead one day to the next day, and it's a serial of events that create our life. And depending on how we handle those events, depending on how our life's going to be in any one moment, many people attempt to put all the pieces together and predict their life is it's going to be, and then when it doesn't happen that way, they're disappointed. If I look at my life right now, from where I was when I was maybe 15 or 18 years old, heading out on my life, believe it or not, I'm not even close to where I thought I would be. In fact, I'm not even doing what I thought I would be doing. Many times our life unfolds, and our experiences bring us to a purpose that gives us what we're supposed to be doing. Also, many people watch television, they watch soap operas, and they also watch sitcoms, and they love sitcoms because it makes them laugh. Did you know, though, what makes a good sitcom is tragedy? If you look at some of the most famous sitcoms of all time, like Seinfeld and even the old uh, Archie Bunker stuff, it was all really built upon tragedy. We laughed at those people. However, the things they were going through were real life events and what makes, we, makes us love them is they tr become triumphant over those events, those insurmountable problems and challenges that they have to handle. Every day you're living in your own TV show, if you want to call it that. You're living your own life and it's very much the same thing. Each day we have things come into our life and they can seem like insurmountable problems or sometimes there's wonderful things come into our life that we laugh and frolic and we love those things. However, the mixture of all of it is what makes our life. There's not any too good or too bad in any one day. It's how we view it. So today what I want you to do is really look at your life. If your life is like mine, it really hasn't turned out the way you thought it would. You can look at it as tragic or you can look at it as wow. This is a new adventure I hadn't planned on. And you can also take a look at the opportunities you have at hand based upon what your past experiences are and look where it's led you today. Most people do not want to take responsibility for where they are in their life because maybe they're facing bankruptcy, maybe they've lost their home, maybe they don't have a job right now and it's ugly for them to take a look at where they are right now. It's not a bad thing. It's just an event in that television show of your life that you're going to become triumphant over if you keep moving forward. Remember, each one of us all have problems and challenges. There's not one of us is going to get through life without any of that. When I was young, I thought I was going to get through life without any problems and challenges. That was my goal. Boy, I didn't want to have happen to me what I see happen to everyone else. Well, guess what? I think I've lived all of it on, on spades and steroids. Bottom line is I'm still standing. And the reason I'm still standing is I've had to learn how to overcome my own frailties and use my own virtues to create and to find my purpose in life. And I'm not so sure I'm still there. I mean, I may have more growth to go before I really find my true, true purpose. We're all that way. Every day you go to work, be on the lookout for purpose because it is all around you. However, if you're buried in the problems of it, the challenges of, the, of it, and, and some of the people that are irritating you, you're not going to see your purpose. I want you to calm down, just like yesterday's tune-up said. Let's learn how to clear the plate of all the noise and all the stuff that we're doing, and let's start focusing on what we can do today to become most effective in our own life. And if we do that, we're going to help everyone else around us. The more effective each one of us are in making good decisions, taking care of ourselves and our kids, and raising them properly so they can be good leaders, the better off all of us are going to be. It starts with you today. Not planning for the future and trusting and hoping, that virus word, that it all works out. You make it work out starting right now. And when I shut this tune-up off, it starts right now. So until tomorrow, your challenge today and the rest of this week is really, really pay attention around you. Be uptime rather than downtime. Uptime is where you learn. Downtime is where you rescript everything you've already done. And it's like Groundhog Day. You play it over and over again, and you wonder how come it never changes. Because you're downtime. Wake up. Today's a bright new day. You have many opportunities today, and it starts right now. Bye-bye.